everybody, this is Sheldon from Show Rock Art. Welcome to my channel. Um, welcome to the Sunday Fun Day Acrylic Crazy Train train ride. And this is a special week because we're gonna call this the Acrylic Train Wreck. And that's because there's gonna be some wrecking doing in all of the videos today. We're gonna do some wrecking on our pores. And this one is dedicated to our guests um, train rider, which is Sarah Mack. And so we're happy to have her along and she will be following me after I do my video here. And what I'm doing today is a bloom, a wrecked bloom. And I'm going to have something special, which is instead of a transfer swipe, I'm going to do a transfer flip cup. And you'll see why during the video. But just for a split second, I want to show you a preview of what's coming up in a future video after this one, where the light's not hitting it. So I just want to show this to you here, and I hope you like it. This is a flip cup that's been poured into a funnel and traveled around. So I'll show you how that's done in my next video, okay? So, without further ado, let's get to my get to my canvas and my puppy pool, and we'll show you how to do a wrecked bloom with a transfer flip cup. Hello everybody, I'm at my pool, my little puppy pool right here, and I'm getting ready to do my um, flip cup first. And then I'm going to be doing my bloom on this uh, slightly used. I'm going to pour over this one. I wasn't too satisfied with this one, so I let it dry. And so I'm going to pour over this to do my new bloom. So before I do that, let me go over my colors with you. For the bloom, I'm going to mix a little bit of this nice rosy looking color. Now, what is this color, you may ask? Well, this is a prism pour mixture. This is um, this is French silk with warmed up with a little bit of the big apple from the um, Summer Radiance uh, collection. So that's what this one is here. French silk from the iridescent silks and big apple and then I have some um, this is called morning light from the iridescent silk and it has a shifting blue to it a blue interference more or less this one here is misty veil which has a purple interference or violet you see it in the back of the cup there In, in the spoon. So that's my Misty Veil. And these are all Prism Pour colors. I'm using all Prism Pour colors tonight, except for one, um, because I already had it mixed up. But this is um, Fire and Ice. It has like a reddish interference there, as you can see. This one is rain on um, primary elements from the butterfly wings collection or set. And it has that uh, green interference to it with that black pearl backing. And then speaking of big apple, voila, there's the big apple in its pure form without being mixed with the uh, French silk. So that bright red is going to go under my first black selectivator and then a gold selectivator. I might do it opposite. I might do gold first and then the black. We'll see. But there's the gold. So I might do gold then black. I'll see what happens at the end of the um when I get to that point. But then in my flip cup, 
I just have three colors. I have um, Mars Black. This is a Liquitex color. I have Azo Orange, which is also which is an Amsterdam color. And I have Deep Gold, which is Amsterdam. So this gold and the other gold will kind of bring the two parts together when I add the transfer swipe. So I'm gonna get started in one minute. And so let's get started with layering the cup first for the flip cup. So now I'm going to put a little bit of pillow paint because the pillow will give me a white underside to my flip cup. And I don't need that much. like a flip and drag and then I'm gonna lip it to also give a little bit of a wreck to the flip cup. So let me pull it up here and flip it and come around through like so. Just like that. Now I'm gonna put you aside And then I'm gonna work on this one, the bloom. So let's get some pillow paint down.
and then I'm going to put the transfer and then swipe it out. And I think I'll put the transfer across here. So I'm gonna keep some of this lacing here. So let's do some wrecking. So I'm gonna pull some of this straight through. And generally, I don't like to do wrecking. So this is like a new venture for me. There's my rack right there. Okay, now, now I got my uh, flip cup all over done. I'm gonna transfer the flip cup across this lighter area here to try to get it closer to the middle as well. So that's the card. Okay, I'm back with the card. And I'm going to, I guess I'm gonna come across this way. Okay, so let's pull some of this off here. Drag it off and then just come like this. Sideways, flip it up, sideways around, up and over. Nice ribbon. Take one more down this top side. So top side. So first, let me give it a nice little spin to expand the colors. too much of that so I'm gonna move this mm, closer to that edge actually you know what I don't want to spin anymore but I want to get this edge covered so I'm going to pick some up the palette knife this should dry right but the whole key to doing a flip cup on this is watching the magic happen. So here we go. The torch. Put some of the heat in there. Put some of that up there. Put some of that out. Flip the cup, but normally when you do a, uh, we call it a transfer, it stretches those cells out. So I wanted to do a flip cup and then I wanted to torch the cells and keep them round. So that's the whole idea behind this particular um, style. Oh, and I love the way that turned out. So let me get you down for a closer look at this very happy piece that I'm very happy with, all right? Okay, everybody, now we can get a close-up on this wonderful bloom that's wrecked with a transfer flip cup. And I am very much in awe at how this turned out. I wasn't sure how it was gonna turn out at first, but theoretically, my assumptions were correct. My whole idea was to do the transfer, but not have the cells all stretched out. So I said, let me do a transfer flip cup. That way I can torch it after 
I put the ribbon transfer onto the piece. So this is how it looks. I like um, this orientation better. And so that's how it's gonna be posted. So now, please give a warm welcome to our own guest train rider, Smack Bean, Sarah Mack from Sarah Mack Art. And hopefully we will continue this lovely fun train ride all the way to its end. But for now, please enjoy the rest of the ride and happy pouring. Bye-bye.